Filling. 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 Weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was in the. It was in the shot. This is supposed to be R rated. Yeah. Well, Julie's yeah. making sure it's like yeah. R rated. Good. I'm gonna try to go to NC17. What's happening here? Oh. Hello there. Oh, okay. That's happening. Okay, everybody, are you turned on? No. No. Oh, turned on. Oh, right. We'll be in a minute. Oh. Well, be, give me a second. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Last second. <laughs> so it's recording something. Welcome. It's on. It's all out of the way. For yeah. Now. For now. We'll keep, keep it on. Come on. Oh my God. What happened? Oh, oh that does that's what that does. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> 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 I think what we'll do is we'll start from the beginning and just kind of, and now that everything's working, if you guys notice anything, there should, you know, the red dot should always be on. If you notice anything weird, you can motion to her or us or something and we'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> poor Shane. I'm just paranoid. He's feeling, he's okay. feeling the heat. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we'll do three, four, okay, I'm going to have to do my clap. Three, two, one. This is episode two. Yes. The second episode. Um, and tonight we have guest Shane White, who's a uh, local graphic novel artist and comic book artist. What well, graphic novel mostly? And then uh, we also have Steve Belladin, who I think he does some sort of magic stuff and um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, online porn. <laughs> he doesn't. Who am I watching? I know. So, uh, yes, um, I am Julie Barrow. And I am Brian Stody. And uh, otherwise known as Yuki D, I'm Jinx. And what are we drinking tonight? What are we drinking tonight? Georgetown Brewery Company has provided oh, us with loads of quality adult beverages. Yes. So and tonight we had, um, let's see, they had they gave us an Oktoberfest. Yeah, we got the, I think it's Tom's. Tom's Oktoberfest. Uh, and then we also had the Manny's Pale Ale. Yes, we did. Uh, which is hoppy, their hoppy stuff. And then we also had the Lucille Porter. That was very good. Yeah. That went down real quick. <laughs> so we need to get two of those next week. Yeah, I think we need to get more than that. Yeah, maybe three. <laughs> so we've also been imbibing in the uh, Charles Smith family wine. I think it was the Charles and Charles red wine, too. Is that yep. what you're drinking? Yep. Yeah. He's mixing it all together. <laughs> Georgetown is awesome. We're actually filming inside Crab Dab Studio at Georgetown. Um, lots of really cool places down here. So, yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. It's actually a fun place. Um, so, how are you doing these days? I'm doing just ducky. Uh, yeah, and when are you going to change your shirt? This guy... <laughs> I did change my shirt. You did? He See, wears the same shirt no, every I wear, day for the I last the same 20 years. I wear the same style of shirt. I actually have nine pattern. of these. Nine? I have nine. Yeah, nine. I do. So one I can just I can reach least. in like this and just pick out a new one. It's the same. It's like Don't worry underwear. about it. <laughs> I don't wear underwear. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I need is one more thing on my ass. He only wears the <laughs> shirt. That's it. It's only the shirt. There's nothing underneath the pants. Yeah, there's nothing underneath the shirt. So, um, where do you get those shirts anyway? I ordered them from a company out of Massachusetts. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think it's C and D Jargon and Company. They make like Civil War and. Uh, uh, Revolutionary War, like reproduction clothes. Oh. Yeah. And I think it's cool. And what side are you on? What side? Yeah. I'm on my side. You're on your side. <laughs> yes. The side with the most guns. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> How was your week this week? My week was just fine. Worked a lot. Um, did uh, you work your wiener off? I did. He works his wiener off. I do, on a weekly basis. I can tell because he doesn't wear any hair. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to have to tape you down to that chair? Yes. And to tape your mouth shut? Uh, no, uh, by the way, I am a, a full-time employee of Flying Frog Productions. Mm -hmm. And we make quality board games, and we're working on a uh, game called Shadows of Brimstone. And it's uh, like a dungeon crawl adventure set in the Old West. And um, we fight like Cthulhu-style monsters and stuff. It's a really good time. And we started a new project 
that we announced at Gen Con, and it's basically Shadows of Brimstone in Japan. That's awesome. Which, of course, you know, I love that samurai stuff. You, yeah, you touch yeah. that is. So I have to paint like uh, swords and armor and samurai stuff. He goes and he paints in day. the bathroom all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all banging on the door. <laughs> Get out! Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So on that note, I'd like to introduce our first guest. Mm -hmm. um, that is the artist known as Shane White. Amazing so artist. Please welcome Shane everyone. White. So Shane, tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of what are you working on these days? Uh, I'm a comic book graphic novelist, um, illustrator, video guy. I do a lot of different things. It's just who I am. I uh, have been working on some Steve Jackson uh, Munchkin game. Uh, cards. Uh, is that like a card game? Yeah, it's a card game. Oh, awesome. What's the, so. what's the target audience? I don't, don't say geeks. Don't say geeks. <laughs> you know, it's weird. I went over to Cafe Mox uh, in Ballard, mm -hmm. and it was a Thursday night, and, and it was just packed with people. You know, just I, I didn't realize how big gaming was, and especially in public. And you get to, <laughs> I mean, you see all these people, and it's just like gaming in public. Yeah. yeah. Well, I. I <laughs> it's the twenty first century. It's one of those things. It's like I, I'm usually on the outside of 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 how um, of things. It, it, You're like, not a gaming artist, I'm not, well, I'll say, right? Well, I worked in video games for about 20 years, yeah. but I don't I don't really play those games, right. and then I work in RPGs, but I don't play those games. I just love making art, so um, they contacted me in January, and they were like, hey, do you want to do some Munchkin cards? And I was like, yeah, okay, I've never done that before, so why not? So now what's the Munchkin? So usually it's like a theme decks. The Munchkin. What was this theme? So the first one, I, it was an artist edition, and I was basically redoing somebody else's art, which was a pretty easy gig, mm -hmm. um, and it was a lot of fun because you're pretty funny um, and kind of weird humor, which I'm, I'm into. And then the next uh, one was, um, I think it was just Pathfinder. Oh, I think that's what it was. It was through. Like, uh, uh Paizo or Paizo? Paizo, Paizo. yeah. Because yeah. I had done a comic years ago um, called Pathfinder Goblins, and so that's thing. I think that's how they, they got a hold of me. You know what I love is when you accidentally say Paizo wrong. You know, everyone says Paizo to start with, and people are always like, it's Paizo. Yeah. Like, like we all should know. Like, it should be in our DNA. Right. Paizo. I'm like, I, I, I just didn't know if it was a It's Tekay. Tekay? It's Tekay. Is it really? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. okay. Hey. Okay. I never pronounce Paizo wrong. I always got it right the first time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Please can that Italian. I don't have any Italian. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so I. You don't have any Italians? <laughs> don't. Okay, go on. Please continue. So I, I did this, uh, I did the, the card game for uh, Pathfinder uh, Goblins, or yeah. Pathfinder, and then they did a sequel to that, and now I'm doing a, another secret project, which Ooh. will be out next year. So. Like, oh, top awesome. secret, can't talk about yeah, it. I want to kill you and stuff. Awesome. I, would, I wouldn't kill you that hard. Okay. That but, hard. Yeah, but yeah, it, it'll be out next year. But the two games that I worked on will be out September and December of this year. Are you working with Sarah? And no, Shelly. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know. No, no, I don't. Shelley. I know Eric. Oh. Eric. Eric's awesome. Yeah. So. And then um, just trying to get my robot graphic novel. Uh, Sexy robot? Not like that. Uh, you know, when you say that, it brings you back to 1988 when uh, Hajime, is it Hajime Soriyama? Yeah, yeah, Soriyama. Sexy yeah, robot. Yeah, sexy sexy robots, robot. Yeah. All the airbrush technology. Didn't they use that stuff. for a vodka com commercial? They used his sexy robots to huh? sell vodka? Oh, really? I yeah, think so. They yeah. did. No. Well, I, you know, I, if I would have done that, I probably would have gotten that published. If you would have done that, you wouldn't be here tonight. Yeah, probably you? Not. You'd be too famous. We wouldn't be able to yeah, do that anymore. You'd have to fly me in from Tokyo. Yeah, exactly. I know. But anyway, so I, I'm trying to get this uh, graphic novel up and running so I can get it, uh, uh, do a Kickstarter of it awesome. later cool. on uh, this year or January. That no, sounds no, great. Now, a... Shane, are you writing this too? Drawing? Are you yeah. Doing, you're doing everything. Yeah, writing, illustrating it. And, yeah. I've, been working on it for like five years or so. <laughs> Your hands should be where we can see them. Yes. There we go. Please continue. 
So yeah, I've been working on this for like five years and um, just working on it between freelance gigs and um, full time, you know. It just kind of like your baby. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things, it's like I, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and now I'm at the end of it and I'm exhausted and somebody asked me, well, what's the elevator pitch? I'm like, I don't freaking know what it's about anymore, you know, if you get, I don't know if you've ever worked on a project that long, but it's just like, if your brain just melts and you're just like, it's a, it's a robot, it's a girl, they, they're, they get into trouble and stuff happens. So. Sexy trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, maybe you should write the, the copy for that. I'm going to write the copy. You're going to get that thing published like that. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That'd be great. That sounds fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. Shane, you also have like an online thing that you do. Oh, yeah. Where you're st it's called, a, I can't remember the it's name. Process. It's called The Process. The Process, yeah. that's right. It's a, it's a video channel, which is about... Um, is it YouTube? Channel? It is YouTube. Okay. Yeah, so it's, I, I don't know what the thing is called. It's the sequentialist. If we'll, you, if we'll, you look uh, at, we'll run it. Yeah, yeah, we'll okay. do that. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a, a YouTube channel that covers a lot of different techniques and approaches to art. So if you've learned a certain way of drawing heads or hands or whatever, um, and, it, and you're struggling, I, I offer other ways to do it because there's like so many books out on there uh, out on the subjects to, mm -hmm. to uh, follow um, that I've kind of covered a lot of that stuff in my career and it's just like I know at any time that I've tried to um, approach something I'm always breaking down what other artists are doing and how they do it um, early in my career I was into licensing and so I did a lot of different styles and so a number of years have gone by that I've worked in so many different styles that I, I sort of had this identity issue. So I'm like, I don't know what my true style is. That happens a lot with graphic mm. designers and, and yeah. illustrators, actually, especially if you work a lot in a variety of, like you said, oh, yeah. uh, different commercial areas, you can feel like you don't know who you are anymore. And it frustrates art directors to no end. So to try to get an illustration job, it's just like, oh, forget it, because they, they don't know what they're getting. It's just like, uh, at least my work is yeah. consistent, you know? So anyway, don't get me started on art directing. <laughs> oh my god! I love it when you get enraged about art directing. I do. That's, that's usually pretty funny. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, in the end, it's like I want to offer you know different lengths of videos to you know uh, delve into inking or penciling or you know painting or whatever. But it's going to be a lot different than what's out there already because it's not about like I'm going to show you how to draw or paint. It's gonna it's gonna be more like here's an approach or here's a way of thinking. Creatively, so people are less scared about you know trying new things and experimenting, even if they're you know as as embroiled into their own style already. Yeah, I think it's cool. I've watched a couple of them and I really like them a lot. Yeah, I've, really I've, I've watched your most recent one. That was actually really fun to watch. So cool. yeah. Well, they they update every two uh, two a week so far. So we'll see if I can Jesus. keep that pace up. Yeah, that's your I've got machine. about twelve in the in the, in the hopper. Yeah, that I haven't edited yet. So. Okay. What do you not do? Mm. Porn. Porn. Mm. No, well, that's not true. <laughs> well, no, I, I haven't done actually filming porn, but I've got a web comic that I've started called Sex Not Double. Dot com. Well, it's it's at sex.double.com, but I know Julie really wanted to talk about that tonight. Yeah. yeah well. Is it about fluffing? Is it like the process where you? There's <laughs> different processes to fluff. I, actually, no. It's uh, it's something that uh, it's about a guy who's trying to find love in the porn industry, and it's it's basically a guy who wants who wanted to get into film, ended up becoming a stuntman, but then was out of work, and the only work he could get was to work on big budget porn films, and so. I created this character and this whole, it's basically a fake memoir of this guy who's uh, trying to live a normal life but makes really good money and wins all kinds of awards, but he can't, but he can't tell, tell anybody. He can't tell his parents. <clears throat> can't hey, mom, guess what I did today. No. Yeah. So, anyways. Wow. So, yeah. So, I mean, is this like a... A screenwriting thing or oh no no it's, or? I've got like six pages uh, up on online right now but it's a 217 page graphic novel and oh it's a graphic novel gonna, so you're painting now do you have models for these things no I do not have models it's more cartooning it's it's more cartoonish and so I get, I'm gonna try a different style of cartoon than that so it'll be kind of fun but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing I think I'm trying to use my imagination here yeah I know. 
it's uh, it's not as sexy as you think it is. It's more adventure. Adventure. More adventure. Yeah. Less sexy. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit sexy. Okay. Does he wear um? Does he wear shirts like this? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I think you should have your, your main character be just like this guy. No, that's not. I could draw you into the book. <laughs> I could draw you into the book. This is a good idea. I think it's an awesome idea. I think and it Do was, I have anything to say about this? No. Okay. Does any do do all, any actors in the porn industry have anything to say about? Yeah. Like no. No, they don't. <laughs> you just show up and take it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh damn. <laughs> that's what I've heard. <laughs> Wow, an uncomfortable silence. That wasn't silent. I heard laughter. <laughs> I heard laughter. I heard nothing but like gunshots in my head. <laughs> I don't know about you. I'm so afraid when this show's over. <laughs> yes. You know what? This is a perfect time to introduce our new guest. Don't you think so? Yeah, well, I like this. Thanks, Shane. And also, and Shane, Shane you got to stick around, okay? Okay. Can you stay right. up here? Yeah, can yeah. you stay up here? You please, <laughs> for my sake. <laughs> yeah, all right. Don't leave me alone with Julie, because bad things could happen. Yeah. So jinx you. Yes. So, it's yeah. Nice I'll pick up. <laughs> yeah, I don't Yes, so, exactly. So our next guest is a local illustrator in the Seattle area named Steve Belladin. Belladin. How do you say his name? Is it Belladin? It's Belladin. Well, you know how everybody says Mark Tadine wrong. They all say Mark Tadine. So, so is it Belladin? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's have okay, it. Let's welcome Steve Belladin. <laughs> Uh, pronunciations go Belladin, Paizo, and I think Utube, right? Utube. Utube, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> we watch the yeah. movies. Yeah. Yeah. The movies, uh, yeah. Cinema. On Utube. Utube. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, you, do you, are you Steve with or Steven with a PH? No, I'm with a V. 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 Yeah. So you're not stuffing. Regular. Steve. No, we gotta we gotta keep it nice and short. You gotta keep okay. it American. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I think it's more German than anything. Yeah. Is Belladin's Steve? German? Really? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, who knew? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you would. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> hey, Steve, what are you working on these days? I'm a magic artist. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> um, <laughs> primarily Magic the Gathering, uh, other games, uh, uh, other weird commissions, odds and ends as they come by, uh, the occasional book cover, and uh, stuff for myself. Secret stuff. Secret stuff. You yeah. can't tell anybody? No, it's just it's paintings of things. things. <laughs> Mostly things on fire. You know. Really? Fire. Things on fire. Awesome. Burn it all. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been going to any conventions this, uh, this year? Uh, no. I've, I've actually cut back significantly on on. No Gen Con, no PAX? No, no the only uh, convention, major convention I'm doing this year is a LuxCon in uh, well, now it's well, that's where all the cool kids Redding. hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah in beautiful Redding, sunny Redding, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll be there. You know, like, like the Monopoly board. Unfortunately for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you need a stalker? Nice. <laughs> no. Now, do you have any stalkers? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. <laughs> but you know, they're good. Yeah. Really? They're just that good. <laughs> <laughs> now he looks sad. Yeah. Looks no. Sad. I mean, you know, I wish I was. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm quite content not to be important enough to have stalkers or, or famous enough to have stalkers or, you know, accidental enough to have stalkers because I'm sure there's many non-famous, non-big-name people who have stalkers, but, you know, I'm, I, I've managed to dodge that particular bullet, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> so there's stalkers that are like ninja stalkers. You don't know they're out there. Yeah. They're out there. I have the best stalkers. <laughs> yeah. Now, is it stalkers? High-quality stalkers. <laughs> yeah. Stalkers. I don't know. I mean, I'm from Pennsylvania. We we pronounce things funny. So. Yeah, uh -huh. I thought you were Dutch. You're German, in Dutch country. Actually, there's a lot of Germans in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Well, it's called Pennsylvania Deutsch, and they change it to Dutch. Yeah. Because so it was originally German. Oh. People are stupid. <laughs> See? I made that mistake like two years ago until somebody had to school me. <laughs> now I know. You know, Germans. I've been, I've been doing my family. There are probably videos. New York. Like, that's the Dutch, Dutch in New York. Mm -hmm. The Germans are in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I actually have a lot of family from Pennsylvania, and they all are German. Yeah, all the Swedes. And I was wondering there. why they were. I was so many Germans in want... Dutch Pennsylvania. Now I know better. Because they got tired of moving west. They, just, you know, they gave up, you know, they got that far, and then, all right, this is fine. Yeah, really? Sure. They didn't, keep they didn't keep moving on like the Swedes. 
No, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, there's, there's yeah, pockets Dakota, in the Midwest. Yeah, North Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa. Yeah. yeah. That's a little Swedes movie. And then they got tired. And, and then Seattle. There's a lot of Swedes in Seattle. And there's a lot of Swedes oh in God. Seattle. Oh, my God. Especially Marshall Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all need quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, Ballard. Take that, Mercer <laughs> Island. You and all your Swedes. So here's an interesting little thing. Anybody out there remember Britannia jeans? Yes. Remember that? Okay. Well, they had to cut the ass one size bigger Jesus. for the Seattle market because there's so many Swedes here and they have bigger asses. That's a true story. <laughs> no. Yes, it's true. Absolutely. Serious? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, let's take, let's all take a comfortable moment of silence to yes. ponder yes. that. <laughs> yes, so in my family, uh, one of my relatives makes big ass Swede jokes, and that was one of her stories. She had to tell that story. That's, so I've heard it like five times. Yeah. From yeah. the same person? Yes, because, well, you know, there's Thanksgiving, there's Christmas, and you go over there and like, so oh, must okay. be true. got to hear the story again. And so, so in my head, next to the nine pirate shirts are <laughs> a, a whole line of big-ass sweet jeans, right? Because I mean, that's obviously like, like Batman uniforms, you know, like, and then, yeah, that's, totally, that's totally your closet, right? <laughs> I am. Yes. That's good, Steve. Send a photo. We gotta put the closet. Oh on. yeah, that's gonna be captured somewhere. <laughs> put yeah. up there. Yeah, Are I can't get any redder than this. Are you Swedish? Well, like half. Half. So you. So it's only the right cheek. cheek. Yeah, it's only. Like, <laughs> no, actually, but it's into the mirror. That's the left. Yeah. Oh, Shane. You know what? Totally right. My bad. Yeah. yeah. Are you Shane? Huh? You're just white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm just white. What? Actually, you're just, you're just Barrow? Yeah, I'm just Barrow. <laughs> I'm actually, uh, we're French Canadian. Oh god, that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> She's having to go with the French Canadians. No, I used to, well, I used to work in uh, tech support, and whenever we got, I worked for Adobe, and whenever we got, the, we had a special department for the... the, for the, the oh, class. you just put them in a closet somewhere? Yeah, there was a guy who handled the French Canadian calls, and they were always angry. Angry. So You're like kind of a happy kind of lucky guy. Yeah. Canadian. Well, I mean, I, I originally were French Canadian, but you know, it was, it's a mix of, you guys of are just too happy. Irish and yeah. Scottish. So oh, okay. It's, it's this okay. heavy drinking, skirt wearing, rude, you know, claymore wielding. Yeah. 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 yeah, I like that. Brass pistol shooting. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, I'm down with that. That's that's the other half of me. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder we get along. Hold on a second here. Oh, okay, sorry. We're, getting, we're gonna get to this here. So half the family is from Scotland, right? And what are Scottish people? Shipwrecked Scandinavians. Mm. So then the Scots meet the Swedes in America, and bingo, you got me. <laughs> That's there's it. There's gotta be That's some drinking. Got? Yeah, well, there's a, there's a lot yeah, of drinking. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. And you're from Reading. No, I'm, I'm from a little town, uh, actually, just across the river from Trenton, New Jersey, in Pennsylvania, called Marsville. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Is that, if you wow. say it, You're the one! <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! You're the other one! <laughs> yeah. I went to sc uh, school in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah, I have an aunt who lived in Scranton. Oh. Yeah. And I never want to go back again. <laughs> 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 Why I moved here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All on the west coast now. Yeah. For now. So, you know. yes. so do you get PTSD when you go to a LuxCon? Uh, no. I mean, it's it's uh, generally. I mean, unlike most conventions, it's. I mean, there are obviously our fans and there are art collectors, but in my head, anyway, it's so much more uh, an artist convention in the sense that you know. You can walk away from your table literally for hours on end and not miss a beat and spend the entire time talking with other artists and come back and, you know. And nothing's really. happened? No. And it's, it's kind of a sucky con. Here. But you get to hang out with cool people, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's I more mean, of like a big So it's party. a lot of so this. It's like a big yeah, it's yeah. a lot of this. I mean, it's just the whole time. Oh, okay. I cover my expenses and from there on, it's all, I mean, it's all gravy. So honestly, it's like, you know. So plug uh, Illus Kana. When is it happening? It's, actually, I can tell you. Okay. Can okay. you tell us? Uh, I know it's in October. It's October 23rd. Okay. So it's uh, the weekend of October 23rd. Yeah. In Reading, Pennsylvania, over at the Google Works 
Goggle works. Goggle works? Pretty sure. Google works. No, I'm pretty sure it's Google's just one. Can I just not it's pronounce one O? No. I'm, I it was two O's. Unless it's like center pronunciation I of Google. I need glasses. Maybe I need glasses. <laughs> and how many days is it? Well, so, it'll be the, I think it starts the 19th. So 19th, yeah, it's, like, uh, it's like the it's like evening of the 19th through. Yeah. So it's like a three it's and a half, four day it's kind like of thing. Four Thursday days plus like a preview night, I think. Oh, okay. yeah. Wasn't there a West Coast version or something? Uh, or no. Did they just there is, the Spectrum there was, was going to be on the West Coast, yeah. but it didn't work out, so they're going back. Then it's going to be in Kansas City next year. Um, yeah, no, it's actually really awesome. Uh, Pat, Pat and Jeannie Wilshire. Or am I pronouncing that wrong? <laughs> it's Wildshire. 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 Might as well pronounce it all the ways and then cover. That's yeah. true. <laughs> well, that's what I do with uh, H.R. Giger. I always call him H.R. Giger Giger. Because no. <laughs> somebody will either correct you or look confused. No matter how you say it. Yeah. How many shows a year do you do? Not many. Like, at this point, you know, magic events and then maybe one, maybe two conventions. Do you do the Grand Prix? Uh, if invited, it's yeah. Pricks, no. by the way. <laughs> 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 uh, that's another show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get many invites anymore. But art you know, directors, on the other hand, that's what are. It's, it's, now, it's a time. Do you do anything other than art? No. Or is that all you do? That's it. I mean, it's just it's art, and then watch movies, and then sleep sometimes, and and then you know. Eat sometimes. Now, so. didn't you do Civil War reenacting back in the day? Yeah, back. At, I have my own pirate shirts. Now, did you wear? What side are you on? Uh, I was only a uh, Northern reenactor, so you Union, and uh, so all my kit is blue, and I have, uh, you know, I still have my leathers and my my musket in my closet. Now, at what point do you die? Uh, you know, just just. Now, do people are, are they told they die or are they? I Maybe think it really, really depends on the event and how it's organized. Um, hmm. So it's kind of different everywhere you go. Uh, for the most part, it was just like, oh, this is the part in the battle where everybody died, so you have to die after shooting a couple rounds. And so, okay, fine. You know, and you fall down. And do you do dramatic and, death? Uh, some people do. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm not much of an actor, so. Does blood come out? No. Because the uniforms are expensive. Are there vampires? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Do you have to put down like a little cloth and then I'm oh, going yeah. to yeah. die? Yeah. Don't want to get any dirt on this thing. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't want to don't want to get these shoes dirty. What do you mean leathers? I, I, uh, <laughs> okay. I, I'm lost. So, so, so the uh the so the mall being the belt, the uh uh cartridge box, yeah. the cat box, those are typically referred to as leathers. Oh, okay. Because they're all made out of Leather. Leather. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing it all come together. Yeah. And the northern the northern side had better food too, is what I heard. Um well I mean in that by the end of the war they had food at all. Sure. sure. So <laughs> yeah. It was all German food. <laughs> it was mostly hard tack and hard tack. And uh hard tack and the uh, salt wheels. pork and salt pork, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, good time. Not, not the most pleasant thing to eat in the morning, but yeah. I never had hard tack before. I don't even know what I it don't, is. It's, it's a it's really a, thick cracker. Yeah, it's oh. like a cracker. It's about this thick, and, and you can snap a tooth on that thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they had bad teeth too? Um, yeah. By the end of the war, probably so. <laughs> so it really sets in yeah. and your teeth are gone. I know that minimally you had to have two teeth in your mouth in order to actually fight in the war because in order to actually open a cartridge you have to tear it with your teeth so if you didn't have two teeth that lined up then you were disqualified. Wow, wow so, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. I would have knocked out like every other two <laughs> just so I didn't have to fight. They should do that. Yeah, but then your teeth would like go together like this and they'd be like, oh, you can rip out like four of them exactly. at the same time. Sure, yeah. you, you would have screwed yourself there, Shane. You're probably right. I see a flaw in that plan. I would have gone back to Canada. <laughs> That's a good one. What That's a good one. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Touche. Yeah, that's a good show. You know the French. Well, I mean, I don't mean to do this, but I think we're going to have to end on a high note here. Yeah. Um.
how about we really enjoy listening to you guys? Yeah, thanks for coming out, you guys. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you. So was... thank you. Thank you both of you, and we're going to keep an eye on what you guys are up to. Yeah. We'll throw your website and Maybe we'll have you back someday, okay? Yeah. How's that? Do you want to come back? Have we scared you away forever? Oh, yeah. I mean, I... I mean, I'm probably going to leave Seattle entirely after this. Go back to Pennsylvania? Yeah. Go back to New Jersey? <laughs> New Jersey. New Jersey. So, thank you so much. Okay. Thank um, you, I want to go ahead and um, say that on episode three, we still don't know who we're going to bring in. But I'm, yeah, we don't. I'm sure they can't be possibly as wonderful as you two. Uh, could it be you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you, George Hamburg Company. Thank you. And all our sponsors and yes. thanks to our live audience that you guys have been wonderful yes Woo! thank you guys until next time see you all soon later we'll see you have a good luck. Bye -bye.